Today, we are unpacking the Osprey Sojourn. We're gonna give you a little bag tour of our brand new carry-on backpacks that we're super excited about. We're getting used to them. And uh, yeah, we wanna show you why we switched over to something that has wheels and talk a little bit about why we travel with just a carry-on. Yeah, so originally when we started traveling full-time back in April of 2017, we had some huge decisions. We could either use a carry-on bag or we can check baggage. Now, there's pros and cons <laughs> for carry-ons and checking baggage. What is a con of checking your baggage? Okay. that you could remember. Oh, my biggest con <laughs> that I've ever dealt with when checking a bag, it was actually the first time that I ever met Brian. We went and met in the UK. I get there to London Heathrow Airport and I go to pick up my bag right before I go to meet this guy and my bag wasn't there. They said that it was still in Montreal. So that was a big problem. I didn't make it a big deal, but I think a lot of people do and that's a really upsetting thing, especially mm -hmm. if you carry a lot of gear, you've got expensive mm -hmm. clothes or whatever you carry, it's kind of upsetting. So that's probably the biggest thing with checking your bag. Yeah, so a pro of checking your bag is that you don't have to lug it through the airport. But we decided to go with carry-ons because one, we didn't want to lose our bags anymore. No. Two, we wanted to be able to get in and get out of the airport as quick as possible and not have to wait at the, the carousels. But the, the con to carrying your bag is you've got to lug it around. You've got to throw it up into the overhead compartment. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you pack too much stuff, sometimes they may say, ah, you're overweight, like recently. All right, so we just checked in to Interjet and uh, our bags are a little bit heavy, but they're gonna let us carry them on anyway. 14.8 pounds. Kilos. Kilos, whatever that means. So the Osprey Sojourns were a huge upgrade for us from me carrying the pack safe and Brian carrying the Duder because of the wheels. This is such a beautiful feature that this bag has that our other bags did not. What we were doing was we were slugging our backpacks on our backs and then we each had a side bag that we were carrying our laptops in, we were carrying, you know, other little things that you would put in a purse or a bag. So this is a really big upgrade for us and has made our lives a lot easier. It took us a little while to get used to rolling bags around because before with the backpacks, we were hands free. And so when we were rolling through specifically in the inside the airplane, we had to make sure that when we were rolling, that uh, we were rolling these in front of us instead of it behind us, because behind us, it was offsetting the bag by a little bit, but rolling it in front of you, it fit perfectly between the aisles of the seats, <laughs> and uh, it was fairly painless at that point. Yeah, once we figured out how to roll it forward, it was a lot better because it was just bumping into the seats and almost tipping the bags over. So that was really the only problem. Yeah, and so we're gonna get better at the handling skills of a rolly bag. <laughs> And yeah. I think that it's actually gonna make us faster in the long run yeah. because it's less weight on us, yeah. which makes us more nimble. That's right. <laughs> so let's do a tour of the exterior of the bag and just show you some of the really cool features. So right off the bat, this bag is sturdy. It feels really good. Like the stitching on it is super tight. Uh, there's, there's anchor points on the outside that if you wanted to hook a carabiner here or put some webbing through and lace something to the outside, you totally could. It has these straps here on the side for the compression settings. You could really, really crank down on this bag and really uh, decrease the the profile of the bag which I really like because whenever you're putting this in the overhead compartments sometimes you just need a little bit extra space to just really ram it in there so <laughs> those compression straps are really nice second thing this thing stands up by itself there's nothing here holding it up except itself I really like that which means that it's got a very solid base on it I mean look at that thing it's made of hard plastic and then they also have metal reinforcing holding the bag in place with super strong sturdy solid rubber wheels this thing wasn't sliding anywhere when we were rolling it yeah i actually thought that the wheels were going to be really uncomfortable and i was like well, i don't really know about 
about carrying that on our backs, but it actually has really nice lumbar support. So also a cool feature is that there's actually a handle on the bottom, on the sides, and on the top. So regardless of what direction you're holding it, it makes it super convenient to pull it out of, of Ubers or taxi cabs or whatever you're doing, or out from the overhead head down. So when you're rolling this around, it actually has a really convenient, nice and tucked in handle here that whenever you depress the button, it'll come right up. Now let's jump to the back. Uh, this is the back side. Right now I've got it set up in tow mode. This is the mode that you go when you're just towing it behind yourself. But underneath this area here, what do we have? We got the straps. I actually thought that this was gonna be really uncomfortable to carry with the wheels on there. I was not too sure how that was gonna feel on our backs but with the really nice curve that it has here, and then the technology of the straps, which we're gonna show you right now, it has made it so nice and beautiful to carry. Originally, I thought that these wheels were gonna be punching us in the kidneys on either side of us. That didn't happen because of the lumbar strap. So as we unzip this all the way to the bottom, this flap opens up. There's a really handy little pocket in here. If you wanted to throw like some bag ID or something, something in they're small, just you know, saying that it's yours, that's a really cool spot to do that. Now on the inside, you've got two shoulder straps. Now this shoulder strap is absolutely adjustable for your frame. I've got a longer torso, Aaron has a shorter torso, but guess what? This bag works for both of us because it's got this Velcroed area back here where you can actually adjust the different sizes. See those little lines there? you can adjust it for how high it needs to sit on your shoulders. So as soon as you open it up, you've got these two little straps here with clips. Right here, you can plug those in to the shoulder. Now those are your, gonna be your suspension that, that helps just maintain that bag on your back. And then afterwards, you're gonna pull the lumbar support from the bottom, just like that. Look at that, that is super lightweight. It's designed for airflow. That's what I really like about it because when we're carting heavy bags and stuff around, I get warm, I start to sweat. I'm a dude, it happens. I do too, it's okay. So what I liked about this is that this provided so much airflow in, in the back that it really didn't cause like a soupy mess to happen. That was totally awesome. All right, so to connect your lumbar support, first what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna tuck your flap all the way in. So whenever you're pushing it through, you can actually reach through the top right here and pull it up all the way to the back. That way it's nice and flush in there. And then you've got two more straps here on the bottom that connect right here. Simply pull, pull on that. It's got elasticity to it, so you can pull that and then just plug these into the bottom uh, straps and you'll hear it click. All right, whenever it clips, clicks real nice, you know that it's there. And then do the other one the same way. There we go, that one's nice and clipped. Now the lumbar support is in place. So now you're ready to actually throw this on your back and take it with you. So just as easy as it was to set up, it's just as easy to put, to put away. All you do is do everything in reverse. So another thing that we really like to keep the bag really secure is we put a lock through the main compartment of the bag and also the toiletry compartment at the top. So it's really easy just to put in a little lock there. They've got some nice little pass-throughs so you can put a lock down there. So to get in there, I like to just pop these open and here's your toiletry compartment. The cool thing is this whole section is its own area. So if you're carrying liquids, of course you're carrying liquids, <laughs> This is where your liquids go. So when you're going through security and they ask to see your liquids, you really just have to open up this top part and you can show them. So I like to carry all of my liquids in this one container. We've got enough liquids, um, like shampoos and stuff like that for the next six months. So that's pretty cool. And then in this little pouch, I've got all my dry toiletries like Q-tips and electric toothbrush and just little things like that. 
So this is what your toiletry compartment looks like totally separate from everything else in the bag, which is really nice so that if you have an explosion of some sort, it doesn't go all over your clothes. All right, so now let's open up the main compartment and check out what that looks like. What I really, really enjoyed about this main compartment is that it is a fully open, you know, it's kind of like a full face. You go and get a burger and they're like, oh, it's served open face. This bag is open face. This thing opens all the way up. So it makes it super, super easy to get in there. And notice that it actually has these, these straps in here that help to hold everything in place. Like like nothing is falling out right now because we've got the straps in place. So whenever you remove that, you're able to, to get into your stuff. What's cool also is that there's two compartments right here that are mesh. And I like these compartments a lot because they had the foresight to stitch this kind of like a pleated pant so that you can actually move around and get stuff in there. Unlike some bag companies, they just, they, they've got it so tight that you can only slide a piece of paper in. We literally have all sorts of things. We've got our, you know, a toiletry kit. We've got our, our eye mask. We've got our medical kit with some band-aids and stuff. And just like markers and phone case holder, like gemstones. Gemstones. Yeah, some gemstones. All sorts of different things. Uh, our, our sewing kit and uh, some wipes, just in case you go somewhere that doesn't have any toilet paper. That's Having right. some wipes is handy. So you can fit all sorts of cool stuff inside these mesh bags here. Mm -hmm. Yep. So one thing that I really like about the Osprey Sojourn versus the PackSafe is the PackSafe has flimsy edges. This has really nice, solid, firm edges so that while you're packing it, it doesn't keep expanding on you. And then by the time you go to zip it up, you're like, whoa, I've got way too much stuff. So you don't have that kind of a situation. So the cool thing is this has little retention straps so you can tighten everything and make sure you get it all in there. So something to keep in mind is that this version of the Osprey Sojourn is the 45 liter version. Now, when I was traveling with the Duder bag, Mine was 40 liters, so I've got an extra five liters. Now yours was 45 liters. There's not really extra room, but it's configured differently. Yeah. And I think because it stands up, you're able to actually fit more stuff into it because it had that form to it. Yeah, I think the thing, that, the main thing that I really like about it is the organization features. Um, we're gonna show you here in a minute, but not just how it has the little mesh pockets up at the front, it's got mesh pockets along the entire side so you can really stuff a lot in there. So we've got some things like, I've got a raincoat in here, I've got a pair of heels and my sneakers. We really like these packing cubes, which we didn't have our first couple rounds of trips. We had only a couple packing cubes. Now we have enough packing cubes to literally have everything segregated and sorted out. So in this one, I've got swimsuits on one side. On the other side, I've got my bras and socks. And then in this one, I've got my undies. I've got a miniature blow dryer. It actually folds up. I've got um, a couple pairs of pants and a couple pairs of shorts in here. In here, I've got all of my tops and long sleeve shirts. I've got an extra journal because we like to journal and we go through these things really fast. And in some countries, we just can't find the journals that we like. So this is a pretty good one. Makeup kit. Now here are the things that take up a lot of space, but they're kind of non-negotiables right now. So we've each got an extra towel. Um, this has many purposes. We've got our yoga mats. So because these yoga mats are so thin, what's really cool about having these is we can have them folded and you can kneel on them. Um, you can open them up and kneel on them. You can also roll them up and use them as yoga props. But even better is this is a just in case towel that we use for the beach. We also use it um, just in case the towels are stinky in the place we're staying at. So these are nice, they're huge. Um, when we first got them, I was like, oh my God, they're so big, but they've been amazing. What's cool is we'll have links to all the different things that we have here down in the description. And then most of them will also be in our Amazon shop also. So you'll be able to find all of this and, uh, 
and be able to get it for your own self whenever you go traveling the next time. So as you can see, Erin carries a whole lot and she hasn't even gotten into all the different compartments on the inside. We're gonna show you those here in just a second, but she has learned the secret to fitting a whole lot of stuff into a very small space. She's pretty good at Tetris too, so maybe that has something to do with it. But I'm gonna show you what I have in mind. Um, I've got, uh, most of these little bags are all super lightweight, so it doesn't really contribute to a lot of the bulk of the weight. It's more mainly the, the, the inside. So I've got my little toiletry bag. So my toothbrush, my Q-tips, my deodorant, because I need it um, all in there. I've got this bag here. This is my underwear bag. So I've got them all rolled up all in a row. And then in this bag here, this particular type has a waterproof and water resistant quality to it. Uh, all of the, the zippers are sealed on it. So it's good for either dry clothes or if you've got dirty clothes to keep the stank from getting all <laughs> over everything else. Uh, once I'm, I'm through with using the clothes in one, I'll dedicate one to my dirty laundry. So that's this style and uh, we'll include links to these as well. As opposed to these red ones, these actually have mesh in here so you can see through them. Uh, this particular one, I've got shorts, I've got a pair of hiking pants in there, uh, and a few uh, workout shorts. They, they all compress down, everything inside of them is all rolled. Right here, this here is an impermeable backpack cover. So if it was raining outside and we needed to slug this through the rain, we both have these. All you do is just open it up and it's uh, basically like a big bag that you put over the outside. Super lightweight, weighs only a couple ounces, so it's definitely worth having. A bag bonnet. A bag bonnet, is that what it's called? I just made that up. In this bag here, I've got my yoga mat. So just like Erin has her yoga mat over there, I decided to put mine in a compression sack uh, just to kind of keep it all organized. Now, back when we started traveling full time in our first trip to Belize, we carried way more stuff and tried to cram it in the bags. What we didn't have was a ton of these organizational cubes. This makes it so much more easier to get through an airport because sometimes they actually require you to to go through your bag yeah. and whenever you've got like your undies sitting there next to your wax pot that they're trying to confiscate next to all the different things. They're totally tearing my bag apart at the airport. It would have been nice to have compression sacks so that my <laughs> stuff would have been all in one place. Which is hilarious. So I found that on this leg of the trip, so what is this? This is the end of December of 2018. We've been traveling with the Duder 40 liter and the PackSafe 45 liter since April of 2017. So over a year and a half, it's about time that we've upgraded our stuff. Backup journal, love this moleskin. Ah, oh, it's a good flexible one. It's clean pages, you can get your thoughts out. That's uh, our favorite one. I just right love there. it. Absolutely love it, yeah. Size. Yeah, if you're wondering the size, this is the, the medium, I think. Yeah, 192 pages. Anyway, um, this here, this is a cool sack. This is designed for shoes, so it's a little bit skinnier, but it fits my size 12 flip-flops and my running shoes. So if I'm going through the airport wearing my running shoes, I'll put the flip-flops in here. If I'm going through the airport in my flip-flops, I'll put the running shoes in here. I normally wear shoes going through the airport because they tell you to take your shoes off and I don't like walking barefoot on the floor there. It's kind of gross. <laughs> And of course, maintenance. I've got a lot of beard here. I'm a dude, I'm hairy. So, you know, sometimes you gotta keep that beard in check or manscape, whatever you need to do. Well, He's lucky he travels with a hairstylist. We're gonna do haircut. <laughs> exactly. So in here, we've got a couple combs. We've got the guards for uh, the wall peanut uh, trimmer. What is it called? 
It's the wall peanut, wall peanut. Clippers, clipper and my famous zebra cape. So zebra cape. we've got all the clipper extensions, the comb, and a little brush cleaner to clean off the clippers. But I make him carry that because I use it on him more than me. But um, I've actually been cutting my own hair with the clippers too. If you want to see more about what we do for beauty and personal maintenance, we can make another video for you on that. Just let us know in the comments below because a lot of people ask these kind of questions like what do you guys do for haircuts and mm -hmm. for body maintenance for me i was actually traveling with two wax pots which is a real pain in the ass i would carry these wax pots in a big ziploc bag with all the wax strips and the and the applicators and all of that stuff and heating up wax on the stove top in pots was really messy i've upgraded and become a brave gal and found the epilator. So yeah, like I mentioned, if you want to know more about our body maintenance stuff and how we do that and how you can do that when you're full-time traveling, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to make a video for you. So let's dive into these handy dandy side compartments on both sides of the backpack. We love that the inside of the bag is bright green because it's actually really easy to see everything that's inside your bag. I've actually crammed a lot of stuff into the side pockets because of, like the uh, mesh at the front, they're really flexible. The only problem with that is the more stuff you stuff in the side compartments, the less space you have in the interior of the bag. So it's something to be mindful of. This trip, I decided I was gonna break down and I was gonna bring some art supplies. My nice Christmas gift from Brian, some watercolors. This is something that I really miss traveling full time was being able to be creative. So this time I said, you know what? I'm gonna carry the extra weight and I'm going for it because that's such a nice thing to do is to give yourself time to be creative or do the things that you love and make time for yourself. So there's those. I've got an extra strap for my little leather backpack so it can be converted into a side bag. Like Brian, I've got wipes for just in case moments. We've got computer screen cleaners here. We've got extra Q-tips and whatever those pad things are called. Oh, this thing's crazy. This is a raid. Basically what you do is you <laughs> plug it in the wall, it's called strip in, yeah. and it keeps the mosquitoes away. It's actually it's really nice. Heavy. We yeah. use that in Util Utila Honduras. It was amazing. Okay, and then on this side, I've got my angel cards because we like to read cards sometimes. And I've got all my gemstones in this little kit. A uh, rain bonnet for my backpack. I've got an extra just like day pack for going on adventures. Um, I've got a little purse for going out. And this is cool. I actually use my strap that I use for my big bag. You want to start to think about multi-purpose yeah. uses for things. That makes your life a lot easier so that you're not carrying duplicates of stuff or just carrying extra weight that you don't really need. And then I've got my hair stuff and my passport. So that's about it for the inside of my bag. So what's cool about the inside of the bag also is a lot of times the retention straps that are on the inside are hooked to the top edge of the bag that prevents you from getting into any interior pockets. On the Sojourn 45 liter, they have gotten smart on this. We absolutely love this. They sew these retention straps into the very bottom of the pack. So even while your stuff is secure in there, if you needed to get into a side pocket, you can easily do so. Like let's say you needed an extra compression sack or something, or particularly in this, in this compartment here, I keep our spices so we cook when we're on the road and we carry little baggies <laughs> with all sorts of spices and to date we have not gotten pulled over by security at the airport asking us what these mysterious powders are because we label them we label Make them sure you label your spices yes yeah, when they're in little bitty baggies it looks kind of <laughs> weird in this other side here i keep uh just socks so my little socks and uh, i just have a few pairs there on the side 
that's basically it. That is the bag in a nutshell. It is super, super convenient. We absolutely love it. And uh, this is the first trip from San Antonio to Colombia that we have used this bag. And because we actually just got it just uh, about a week and a half or so ago. Yeah, yeah that was our Christmas present to ourselves. So, bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed this video. We hope that if you are trying to make a decision whether you want to go with the Sojourn or not, if you've got questions, to leave them in the comments below. All of this stuff we have in the description below. If it's not individually listed down there, just go to the Amazon shop and we've got all, all like our tech gear, we've got our travel gear, our beauty and maintenance. We have it all set up so it's easy to find everything and we'll have links to all of this so that you can find it and get it for yourself. It may be on discount for you from Amazon, but it's not gonna cost you anything else and we really appreciate if you use our link because that's gonna help us continue producing these really fun videos for you showing you how you can be where you want when you want together with your business online so until next time friends adventure on adventure on bye